Hey everybody, what's up? How's it going guys? On today's video, I'm going to be talking about the uh, Ikoria, Layer of Behemoths. The new series that just dropped, uh, all the spoilers being released. What's going on? There's an introduction we have to the series. Two new abilities, one of them is Mutate, and the other one is Companion. Okay, so Mutate works like this. You can cast the creature for its Mutate cost, and you put it on top of another creature, and whenever it mutates, it could be an, a, an ability for the bottom card, or also the top card. And when it mutates, the card on top is the one that is the card that's going to be going with. You know, it almost reminds me of uh, Bestow and the enchantment creature. Remember when we had the Bestow effect, where the enchant the enchantment creature could go on a creature for its bestow cost. Well, this is similar to the mutate where a creature can go on to another creature for its mutate cost. So that's going to be totally interesting. Uh, and if the first creature in play already has a bunch of equipments and enchant creature effects or whatever, and then you put the mutate, mutated creature into play, it still retains all its abilities. Uh, the highest power and toughness card is the one that's going to be on top. Uh, more than likely from what I understand. So the mutate ability is really something that uh, totally threw me off. I, I knew we were going to be dealing with, dealing with some powerful creatures, but I didn't know we'd be dealing with, uh, with that sort of uh, stacking all on the same creature effect, you know. So we could very much see a Death Touch Lifelink trample, uh, you know, etc, etc. Whenever it mutates, bam, 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 and it's just going to be one real powerful card. Moving on to the other one, which is Companion. Uh, as far as I understand, there's 10 com Companions to the series. And what that is, is it's going to be like for Commander, if, uh, for example, you have your 99 cards of your deck, you got your Commander, that you, we already know what the rules are for that. But for the Companion mechanic, it's kind of like a sideboard piece to, com to be the Companion of your Commander. You know, it's self-explanatory. And what, what the wording is for, uh, for that, for the Companion, is that you can play it from outside the game once and then once it's in play uh, it can be destroyed or put in your library or so forth or so forth but that's how it kind of jumps in it kind of jumps in the same as your commander would except it's the companion next to it from what I understand and there's companion rules uh, that state uh, you know this creature like it's a legendary creature companion and the rule of its companion is that your your deck your main deck cannot have uh, convert a mana cost of uh, three or less for creatures, you know, and that's just a rule. If you want that to be your companion, that has to be it. We also have a companion card that you have to have a single card type, like if you have, like you have to have an all elf deck for this one companion card, or you have to have an all, uh, well, this one is green and black. I'll be explaining these in the videos how I normally do whenever I present the new cards. I'm going to be talking about some of the cards that I think that are the best. I'm going to be talking about some of the cards that are just so-so. Uh, I, I realize from the series uh, they're bringing back pacifism. For those of you who remember in Jank Creature Can't Attack a Block, I just, I, they just randomly throw that in there. Remember Throne of Eldraine, they did uh, Grey Merchant uh, of Ashfidel, they brought him back as well. Well, they're bringing back a few cards uh, from the past that we're seeing. Uh, and then besides that, it's really focused on the mutate ability, the companion ability. But there's also a bonus that nobody's talking about, and that's uh, it's gonna, there's going to be the counter ability thing. And you guys know know how much I love uh, proliferate and one one counters and all that kind of stuff. Well, we're seeing cards that whenever this card ETBs, uh, choose uh, the following two counters. Uh, death Touch, Life Link, or Flying, and then when that ETBs, it's going to be considered to have a Death Touch counter, or a Life Link counter, or a Flying counter, or what have you. So we're looking at counter abilities, which is a strange way to word it. I'm going to have to look into it some more, but, uh, you know, it's kind of a slow start. But uh, in the next couple series, in the next couple sets, in the next couple planes, we're going to be seeing cards that are... Uh, entering the battlefield with uh, a death touch counter rather than just saying death touch or distribute uh, it's going to be in that mannerism where they're going to take the words and they're going to put it into the numbers so that's an interesting way to look at it that's uh, what I have to say about this video for Ikoria Layer of Behemoths also it's got some super powerful cards uh, that are just uh, 
that are just really uh, the big, big creatures with really high power and toughness. I was right on that. So without further ado, let me skip over and uh, show some of the cards that I think are the favorite. I'm going to be talking about some of the most powerful cards that I believe have been spoiled and what people are going to do when these cards come on the market, what decks they're going to be going in, and the value that I think is going to be going up. We're going to see if we can pre-order cards or uh, maybe do the wish list for cards. We're going to see if those cards are even uh, attainable in that manner on the internet or not because it's hard to say uh, what's going to happen after that being the day that we are today. We're only dealing with spoilers. We're only dealing with cards that have been spoiled. We have not seen all the cards of the series. We only seen, uh, we, we did see a couple Planeswalkers. I believe we've seen uh, three Planeswalkers that are new and one of them is green. I'll spoil that. And, uh, geez, what else do I have to say? I have not been seeing too many artifacts uh, released as of yet. I've been mostly seeing uh, legendary creatures, surprisingly. They've released a lot of legendary creatures, and they released a lot of rare cards. I'm not sure how many cards are going to be in the set, if there's going to be 350 cards in the set, or if there's only going to be 150 cards in the set. But right now, as of the making of this video, I believe that there's been around... She's 50 cards at least that's been released and it's going more and more by the day. So as the day goes on, I'm going to make more and more videos about the cards that are spoiled for you guys to take a look at because there's so many Magic the Gathering fans that want to know what's going on and they want to know what's up. And yeah, if you guys want to see it, this is the place to be. And we'll talk about uh, some of those cards from Ikoria, Layer of Behemoths. Be sure to tune in.